Well, hello there. You're okay here and... Oh, sorry. Okay, now it's working. Uh, that wasn't problem with my camera. It was glitch effect that I'm going to teach you. You can use it in video, in transition, or even in a text effect. So, let's get right into it. So, we are in After Effects. And we have two video layers here. Don't be afraid if you haven't used After Effects. This is pretty straightforward and easy. After these two clips I need a video layer that works as a map, as a template for the actual glitch effect. And for that I have this glitch video. I drag it on top of my video layers. And as you can see it's bit smaller. It's smaller than my actual composition. Just hit S and change the scale so it fits perfectly. 150% and still even though it's bi as big as it's right now when I put the glitch effect it would only affect the actual size of that video file. That is the reason why I have to pre-compose this. And you just can just right click and pre-compose and just make sure you move all attributes into the next new composition. Now we can right click, go new and adjustment layer. Or you can go top menu, layer, new, adjustment layer. Whatever works for you. Go to effects and presets, type displacement map, drag it to adjustment layer and then you have to choose displacement map layer here and you have to choose the screen glitch video and you have to hide it and now it's glitching it's not very strong glitch here and if you want to have stronger effect you can use these sliders here to make the displacement stronger and as you can see now it's going crazy there and you might see that now because it's very strong you can see the black background because the displacement map effect moves your video as you can see here that's why you should click edge behavior here to wrap pixels around that way you don't see the black background there and if you want to have this glitch effect only as a transition, it's very simple. You can just choose the adjustment layer and drag it so it's only a few frames above the cut of two clips. And as you can see, now it's just this very trendy glitch transition. As I said in the beginning, you can have this glitch in your text also. And it works in a similar way. You can you just have your text layer, your glitch layer, and then the adjustment layer with the displacement map. And very good way to use this glitch in text is put it in the beginning of the text layer. So it looks like it's animating as a glitch in your video. And if you want to have it above your video file without the actual video glitching, you just pre-compose the adjustment layer, the glitch layer and the text layer and have it above your video layer. That way you have glitching text. Very simple uh, when you get hang of it. What is the most fun with this is not just the glitch effect. You can use basically any video clip as a displacement map. Let me show you. And here I use this different screen glitch effect and as you can see now we have this broken screen effect here which I used in the beginning of this video it's kind of fun but I can also use something like this uh, this is uh, some kind of just bubbles in the water 
and it it's not very strong effect here but you can see this weird 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 movement of water and bubbles in my video and if you really think about it you can see a lot of possibilities with this and only your imagination is the limit that's about it hopefully that is helpful for you guys remember only your imagination is the limit here you can use this effect in so many ways uh, remember to subscribe if you want and we'll see in the next video